Meghan Markle left her Hollywood lifestyle behind to join her husband, Prince Harry, in the UK, but after two years of living in there, the couple pivoted toward becoming American celebrities. Meghan and Harry were seen in New York City on Tuesday, October 10, for the Archwell Foundation Parent Summit, and the Duchess of Sussex looked radiant in white while speaking to attendees. Body language expert Judy James noticed the difference in the Sussex's behavior. At the event in New York his entire pose and physicality made him look uncomfortable, James explained in an interview. He sat in an awkward position and he didn't take control of his seat, which means adopting a pose that retains a sense of dignity and elegance whatever chair you've been given. When he spoke he also rubbed his hand along his thigh, up and down, several times, James noted. The odd self-comfort gesture can be understandably subconscious but this was repeated to a point that he must have been aware what he was doing. The commentator also pointed out the couple's recent attendance at a charity event with Kevin Costner. His hand gestures here at the Costner gig are also different for Harry, James explained. Most of them, like clapping hands together and that high, almost pleading hand clasp are the sort of gestures that tend to say one thing, please listen to me. They suggest a desire to be listened to when someone speaks and a desire to get and hold the attention and respect of the listener, James continued. The author later noted that Harry struggled to command a room alongside the suit's star. It's interesting here then, that Harry ends up being interrupted by his wife, James continued. Not only does he seem to be fighting for the guy's attention he also seems to be losing the battle to Meghan, too. She appears to take over with a smile and social ease that Harry might be lacking. Before moving to California, Meghan spent years working on a television series, but Harry's only career experience was in the military and monarchy. If you put yourself in Harry's shoes right now it's possible to guess what's prompting these gestures. Harry is having to do something he never had to do before, which is to fight for attention and to win or earn admiration, the writer explained. As a royal in the UK, he fought to avoid attention but was clearly sucked up to, adored and listened to everywhere he went. James later mentioned that during the time he was a working prince, royal gatherings centered around the Duke of Sussex. Being royal meant whole events would be planned around him and his fans queued to get a chance to touch him and get near him, she told the outlet. He was unconditionally loved. And like most royals, he probably made the mistake of thinking this was all about who he was, not what he was. The fashion journalist theorized that the famous redhead is still dealing with losing his royal privileges. It would come as a shock to any royal to realize the adoration and interest comes from the title, James said. Now Harry is away from the UK and moving in very high circles in the US he will be having to fight for what he assumed was natural. He is also seeing his wife swimming confidently in these circles because she's already fought to get there, she added. Harry relied on Meghan to lead them through the space. She's swimming upstream while Harry is slipping back. Her pats, steering touches and interruptions make Meghan look protective but in the UK it was Harry doing the same to her, the novelist pointed out. No wonder his body language is changing as he's having to learn a whole new set of skills when it comes to making people who are not blown away by your royal background like and respect you for who you are, she concluded. James spoke to the mirror.